So in today's video, I awakened the mythical doe fruit, became a level 1500 pro in block shoots. Before we start the video, I'd like to thank all my viewers for helping me, me reach 1000 subscribers. This is a great achievement and I am genuinely never thought I would reach this milestone so quickly. So if you would like to continue supporting the channel, please it just takes 2 seconds to go down below, click the like button and click the subscribe button. Did you know only about 0.2% of my viewers are subscribed? That is the lowest ratio I have ever seen. <laughs> and I would like, uh, I would love it if you could, if you guys could help me out, get that number to 1% instead of 0.5, no, 0 0.2. <laughs> Alright, so while I was rambling on, I was awakening the dough fruit with the help of my main account. As you can see, he's just using uh, the Crystal Katana with Awakened Buddha and just spamming the clicks on the NPCs with Race V4. Don't worry guys, if you just have a max level Buddha fruit friend, just let them solo the raid and buy it for you. Shout out to my alt account. <laughs> I have my main account. My main account really carried in Awakening these dough raids. <laughs> Without my main account, I couldn't have done it. I just used my main account to carry the raids. Here we go, first skill unlocked. Let's check it out. Awakening the fried dough skill. As there's only 500 fragments, it's really cheap. With that, the missile jab, it creates a very big AoE of like a bomb thing. You launch it out of your hand, and it's very strong, guys. Alright, so next awakening is the X skill. It's very good, it has a big AoE. It's like a big tree that you summon on the ground. Oh no, no, this is the F skill. <laughs> I forgot about the F skill. <laughs> it's just a little roller donut. Guys, it actually damages the NPC. So if you go close to the NPCs with your F skill, it'll actually do damage to them. So yeah, it's time to awaken the X skill for real this time. And there we go. It's a big tree on the ground. It's called Pastry River. It's very good, guys. And then time for the third skill, the carved dough, turning it into the, what is it called? Let's see it, the piercing clothesline. Guys, look at this skill, it really looks cool. Has one of the best animations of any in the entire game. Alright, well let's get to grinding, sorry, I, I didn't get the clip of me awakening the Z, I mean the V skill, even though it's the most important skill of all, the entire dough fruit. But that's fine. Alright, let's get started with the grinding. I'm too lazy to go back to the first C and grind. So we'll just grind the raiders and the mercenaries until level 750. Then we will go back to farm the diamond boss. Don't worry guys, with the awakened doe fruit, it's very easy. Very easy to just group them up. Use your clicks to group them up. And look at that, just spam your skills on them. It is very easy guys, just group them up with the clicks. Every every move in this fruit is AoE guys, and it's a Logia type fruit too. Awakened O is seriously one of the best fruits you're grinding in the second C. Look at how easy it is, there we go. And moving on to the mercenaries at level 725. Just don't worry about them, you got Logia, just keep them one click. And then move on to the diamond boss. And he's very easy, don't worry with the dough fruit. Okay, so time to farm the swan pirates. Don't worry, the swan pirates are some of the easiest NPCs to farm in the second sea, considering how close they are to the quest giver and how much EXP they give. Keep farming them until level 850, then farm the Jeremy boss until level 875. Then we'll move on to the green zone area. Guys, for the stats, now that we're in the second C and have the Awakened Doe Fruit, we have to rely less on the low gear plus melee and rely more on the Doe's, Doe skills to kill the NPCs. So put all your stat points into Doe Fruit with about 2000 energy and 2000 health. This will allow for some decent mobility and great damage. Alright, so grind the NPCs at green zone until level 925. Then move on to the boss of this island, which is Fujita or Fujitora in the movie, in the show, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. 
and keep grinding him until level 950. Don't worry guys with the dough fruit, he's very easy. Just keep your distance and spam your skills against him. Alright, so at level 950, we'll be moving on to the Graveyard Island, which is my favourite island for, gr for grinding in the second sea. I talked about how much I love this island in the Noob to Pro using the Devil Fruit Notifier, and I use smoke for this island, of course. <laughs> if you haven't watched that video, watch it now. And, however, these NPCs are much easier with the Doe Fruit. This is obviously a better fruit than the smoke fruit. <laughs> My strategy for killing these NPCs is to scoop them up in groups of three and just burst them with your skills. Your personal preference will depend on how long you stay here. If you don't really like killing these NPCs, then recommended will be to move on at level 1000. However, I really love branding these NPCs, guys. <laughs> They're my favorite NPCs, maybe in the entire game, guys. <laughs> I really love grinding these NPCs because they're so close to the quest giver. And they give so much experience, guys. Just look at how easy they are to kill. So, yeah, just keep grinding them if you're normal. If you're a normal person, just keep grinding them until level 1000. And then move on to the snow village, I think it's called. But for me, I just love grinding these NPCs so much. that I just continue to keep grinding them until level 1125 i know right the npcs at these islands are so easy that i keep grinding these npcs for 175 levels straight without getting bored too these npcs are so fast to grind however everything good will come to an end and at level 1125 i will of course have to move on to the snow village but that's not yet. Just keep farming these guys, keep farming these guys. Don't worry, it's so quick to farm them. If you kill three enemies on one side, just move over to the other side once you're finished. So just three enemies, then three enemies on the other side, and then two enemies on the other side. So now that we're at level 1100, we can move on to the snow village area and kill these snow trooper NPCs until we reach level 1150 don't worry guys too these npcs are also one of the easiest npcs to grind in the game and can be easily grouped together and bursted like the zombies at the graveyard island just keep farming them until level 1150 and we skip the whole entire snow area of the hot and cold altogether and move straight on to the hot area just kill this boss for 75 levels is server hopping but i got annoyed of server hopping for this boss and i found a server with people farming law law raids if you can farm people from if you can find people farming law raids while you're trying to level up i would definitely definitely recommend joining in if you don't like server hopping for the bosses then they can and they never spawn into every time you do a law raid you get three levels and it makes it amazing for farming Alright, so moving on to the haunted ship at level 1250. Just keep farming the ship deckhands for 100 levels. Don't worry, just like the zombies, these NPCs are very easy to farm. Just watch out for the Doe X skill in there. It can put the enemies out of bounds and make them annoying to kill. So at level 1350, we'll move on to the snow village area. Yep, just keep grinding this guys until you reach that level. Don't worry guys, it won't take very long. These en enemies are very easy to farm too. Yep, there we go. Keep farming them, keep farming them. And I'm sorry everyone, but I lost a lot of footage due to unknown reasons. I, I have no clue how I lost the footage guys, but I lost a lot of footage. And now my level is down from 1,375. Not 75, 1325 to level 1450. <laughs> well, anyway, just keep grinding the first NPCs of this island until you can kill, kill the boss of this island, and keep grinding the boss until you reach level 1450. And then, once you reach this level, 
Move on to the Forgotten Island, where I'd recommend farming the Sea Soldiers until you reach level 1475, and then move on to the Tidekeeper boss and kill him until level 1500. To keep killing him, watch out for his CBs, guys. I would just make sure you go on the <laughs> other side no, 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 of the no, island no. and the CBs won't really no. attack you a lot. <laughs> Keep attacking him, watch out for his AoE or really long up range ability. And then finally, give yourself a treat, you did it, you made it to level 1500. Did you know that only about 0.5% of block sheets players made it this far? So well done if you made it this far. Anyway, thank you to my subscribers and supporters for watching all the way through the video. And make sure to click the end card if you want to see more content like this. And anyway, that was Noob to Pro using part 2 using the dough, permanent dough fruit in Blocksuits. Thanks for watching.